What's going on, everyone? It's time for another horror thriller film review. Starting here, some board, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, today we're going to talk about What Lies Beneath. It was released by DreamWorks Pictures July 21st, 2006. It was produced by Steve Starsky and Jack Ralpke, written by Clark Gregg, and produced and directed by Robert Zemeckis, who also did Back to the Future, Back to the Future Part 2, Back to the Future Part 3. Uh, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Pinocchio, the 2022 film. Wow, just goes on. This had a box office earnings of over $291.4 million. It was a success, but um, it has its flaws, I guess. But yeah. Uh, so what lies beneath? Well, there is a young couple who... Uh, uh, not a young couple. There is a husband and wife, and they uh, are living in this nice community and uh yeah weird things start happening in the house where this uh and the weird occurrences around town start seem to happening to them and uh there's no reason why but then the harrison ford's wife in the film uh starts seeing dead people and ghosts and things like that but slowly pieces together a weird mystery that uh the husband has been hiding um this is actually a pretty cool film it's very subtle and subdued it's more of a thriller than anything with a little bit of horror elements mixed into it and uh there's a lot of uh good misleadings to what actually happened it's a, it is a murder mystery film it's very obvious in the beginning that that's what it is but uh the way they like piece it together and make you second guess everything was actually pretty cool the writing in this film was pretty well done the characters are pretty well developed i was surprised and uh like i said the horror elements are subtle but it made it work real well and definitely as it there's too there's a little too much of visions happening and stuff but for the most part i thought it worked for the majority of the film um this is definitely was a uh, different than I was expecting. This this the second film that I thought was going to be terrible because I hated it when I was younger and I rewatched it and I thought it's not actually that bad. It's like uh, it's just in the middle. It's just like okay, it's a decent film, but there's not much you, you can really do with it. So um, yeah, but it, it was cool seeing Harrison Ford in something other than action films and stuff. He kind of just the box it was a little odd. And hard to take them seriously sometimes, but it is, uh, it was a cool film. And overall, I thought it was pretty well executed. So I'm going to give What Lies Beneath a three out of five. It's not that bad. It's a good little popcorn flick, a little murder mystery. Uh, it's pretty easy to guess what it, <laughs> the mystery is, but at least you, it's, not that difficult <laughs> and uh but it's still fun and entertaining a lot of good red herrings are in there and stuff like that and it def definitely won't go the way you expect so yeah it is a little slow but it does pick up so check it out if you haven't seen it so uh yeah what lies beneath pretty good uh i'll link the trailer down below at least so you can check that out and see what i'm talking about or relive it if you want also make sure you check out my instagram where i'll post clips of films and review in the future all my stories you have the film hashtag the subject on film and i have to text you aware of it also my letterbox is down below my therapy reviews that's where i post my first star rating after watching the films and my twitter's down below reviews underscore derek so follow me on those platforms stay in loop this channel like this video share it so more people aware of it comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any if you have any films film franchise in any genre and on any streaming service let me know and i'll try my best to get them as soon as i can and if i can find them make sure you subscribe hope you find something weird obscure and on the probably never thought checking out together and also hear my opinions of popular films that have come out classic films and reviews on other things but um yeah and don't forget to ring that bell because we'll be talking about a um, more modern horror film that came out called smile in the next one so don't forget to smile but uh till then and uh yeah watch out for all those um crazy killers that might be your spouse and i guess i'll see you all in the next review so until then cheers